was all of the songs, it was the most boring concert I've ever been to. Because yeah. I had to do all the concerts because of the radios, the wireless communication. And um, she sang everything. She never, never became popular. And you didn't know any, any of it. Yeah. And then she brought him up on the stage and just so did not want to be there. It was so obvious and oh, wow. embarrassing for him, you know, but she's just all over her whatever. She and brought her, her bring her own carpet. Her own yeah, she carpet. had to carpet. practically redo her suite. Yeah. But they're I mean, all like that. They're all real picky with what they want in their rooms, their suites. But and their posses and their yeah. stuff. Well, since I remember when you first started over there, or at some point before you got into the wireless communication, this is, you talked yeah. about doing yeah. um, walking yeah. or doing, um, <laughs> you were a gopher, yeah. and how many miles you had walked? 12 years. Yeah. 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 Flats, I didn't know any yeah. better. Yeah. They found yeah. all the shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in your suit. Time. But That's a lot of walking. My daughter Katie has a son that's working on his second or third year of his master's. Yeah, that was um, here at UNLV. I, for, uh, for the hotel. That I, was I don't know that he's still pursuing it, but he was and going to the forensic the the pharmacy. I, to go fix pagers and I don't know that he stayed with it, but he's like a 4.8 he's carrying. Well, didn't you tell me once when we were in Joanna somewhere, one of our trips, <laughs> the, uh, there, the gal had um, wondering a wondering wireless a thing around her neck, and you said, "Oh, I know helped she develop that." When she yeah. first got out of so tell me about tell me more about that. Yeah. When I had we were doing beta tests, things, you know, doing the be trial tests for yeah. Nextel when they first came out with their phones and radios, uh -huh. and we had 500 radios and half the house, half the hotel on digital, which would be Nextel, and the other half on analog, which is the big. Motorola's that your police and firemen use because mm -hmm. you can't have them on both because digital takes a break in the middle of the night to update and you cannot do that at a 24-hour location right. where there's alcohol and weapons and idiots packing, which yeah. at that time they all had guns or knives or something. So um, you have to have your safety people and your maintenance people. And, you know, well, anyway, um, what was it I was going to tell you? How, how are you involved oh, in developing the, it? The, the, the wire. I yeah. let uh, Nextel come in to, they wanted to charge me to come into my casino to do their test for the earphones. And I said, no, no, I will allow you to come into the casino to do the test. But if we do it, I'm going to design the earpiece because I know what we need, you do not. Mm -hmm. And they found that the decibel reading was higher than a jet taking off in Atlanta, in our airport. And um, so I said, I have to have something that my people can hear through in spite of all that noise. Right, you know? yeah. So anyway, I took three different earpieces that they had given us that none of them were adequate. And I cut them all apart and taped them all back together. And I said, this is what I want it to look like. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to have a clip and a microphone. Uh -huh. Attachment right here, very small, you know, because they had to be discreet. And they did it, but they wouldn't give me any any sigh any or kickback. Kick well, uh -huh. the hotel wouldn't have allowed it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was my big deal that nobody knew about. And Sprint was our cell phone. At that time, they were new and they were trying to do a walkie talkie thing. They never did mm -hmm. make it happen. Nextel had the walk on that. But um, I don't know. Just besides this, everybody picky, wants to be king and queen. Oh see. yeah, and the picky, and you know, the picky entertainers. And you think, you know, you see somebody, and you think, oh wow, he looks like a really nice guy because he's playing a really nice part in a movie or something. Oh, yeah. They turn out to be just real needy, high maintenance, nothing ever is right. But in a hotel here, the paint would hardly dry, and a CF. CEO or somebody would walk by and not like the shade, they'd have it painted overnight for whatever color he wanted. Wow. It was that, they're all just picky, but it kept it nice and fresh and new. And that was the CEO of the CEO. Any, 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 you know, upper corporate or whatever. Yeah, if they didn't like that color blue, well, I think it should be a little lighter. 
<laughs> wow. It was lighter the next day. Uh -huh. yeah. We did everything in house. We were all inclusive. Right. And, uh, we had a generator when 9 11 happened. We had to get run a trial where we could detach from Nevada Power uh, and keep our, our hotel lit and running. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did a trial one morning about 4 30. Not my our, our most of the, the working part of the hotel is in the basement. So if there's no windows, it's just black, pitch black. Oh, yeah. And um, so about 4.30 in the morning, we turned everything off, and it was the longest 60 seconds to have that big generator turn on, because we just sat there just holding our breaths, you oh. know, oh my gosh, I hope it works. Because if it ever happened, any of that, then a catastrophe happened or something, and mm -hmm. so we were trying to protect the guests, because there's 5,000 rooms, yeah. and they're always full. They were. 5,000. We handled all the cameras in the hotel, which they had more hotel, more cameras than any of the hotels at that end of the strip, all put together. Wow. Because they had like six to eight, maybe ten on a table, just one, one table. But at that time, that was the largest casino in the world, so I don't know about now. I've been gone too long. Ten years. I think Macau's right there. Hmm? Shooting the Holyfield fight when what's his face bit off his ear? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you were working that night. Oh yeah, that was the pimps. You've never seen. You want to see a parade of pimps? Pimps and oh my gosh, you know, in their pink suits and their big fedora hats and this one had lost a button off his jacket. And this is early in the meeting when we came up to the front desk to my window. He said. Uh, do you have some, a needle and thread? And I said, well, I could probably get one. He said, I'll give you 20 bucks if you'll sew this button back on for me. So I did. <laughs> and got one out of the desk. And, and then another lady lost her, um, you know, they came tearing back into the lobby one morning. They had checked out. I've left my engagement ring in the room. Can you go find it? And I was brand new. I did not know the pattern in the hotel yet. But I found my way back to her room. And she told me exactly where it was, opened the door to Made it already cleaned, and there it was in a little box. Mm -hmm. Her engagement ring. They were going to get married. <laughs> Jeez. So they, you, people check their brains when they come here. Yeah, they they just, they, they, they're like on automatic pilot, and that's when you're somebody's going to get you. Yeah. And there's no you, you. There's no box in a hotel. You can't find your way out necessarily easily. Yes, I learned that. There. Yeah, they get you in there and they want you to stay there. That's why they're so big and have so much to offer you. You, you shouldn't have to leave. You can shop no. here. You can eat, eat there, here, yeah. sleep here, you can swim here, play, whatever you want to do. You don't have to go down the street. You know, she got her picture on the marquee of the MGM. Yeah, I, I saw Remember a picture that? of her picture. Oh, Tommy did that first Tommy that show. I can't think of the name of the show. It was a TV. Tommy Tommy's name something like that. Because that was here when that was performance. Yeah. Tall side of that. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, no, I just made it. It was all it was was a big banner, but they made a big deal out of it. For sure. Yeah. Well, they wrap them around the hotel, you know, the hotel is a huge thing yeah. that with all of them. Now, they're, who's the magician? The big is he, he plays at MGM. Oh. They do that with Rose. Mm -hmm. well, Copperfield. Yeah, he Copperfield. Played, he used to he played, started playing at Caesars before he got out there yeah. years ago. I see where Larry Menlo, he's going to get married at he's 71 now. Did he? Married his manager died. Been with, with oh, really? 30 some years or something. He was 66. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, oh boy, <laughs> him, <laughs> I remember him being at the International Hilton when it first opened years ago. Uh, I guess.
guess he's retired. Well, that's where Elvis always performed this area yeah. right there. He was he turned into a big fat rush. Mm -hmm. I always worked graveyards and night at Caesars when the old embers you know, caught on fire and you see the people jumping out of the windows mm -hmm. on the upper stories. Oh really? Yeah, that was very horrific. And they, uh, we never had a fire. Mm -hmm. Or they had fires, but not like that. But it was a kitchen fire, wasn't it? Yeah, it started in a small kitchen downstairs in about the center of the casino. And, but see everybody, it's one of those things, well, it shouldn't have happened. Well, they're making all this stuff flammable that they're hanging from the walls and mm -hmm. furnitures and drapes and it just went People are trying to tie sheets together. You can see them. I can see all this from the station oh, wow. on our upper yeah. floors. But That's probably still on. You can probably find some of those films from it's on YouTube now. Probably. On the corner right there. I think so. Yeah. How tall was that building then? Hmm? How tall was that building then? Do you remember? Three stories, I think. Maybe yeah. some of them. Yeah. Valleys now, that's where the right. where it is. That's where uh, yeah. That's the old MGM. Yeah, and that was turning corner from the season. So yeah, that's where the guys were staying when they were See, here. And, and you think they're so great, and here Caesar is coming out of bankruptcy or a form of it. I don't know which. No, I got a I got a letter that from the bankruptcy court Did actually you? before I left. Yeah, Did that they were filing. Did they? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a hotel that hasn't been in bankruptcy. They're worse than Donald Trump. Yeah, he is. These people here, and see, you never know who's getting first count. And the first count is what comes out of those machines or off the oh, tables, tables, and they have a counting room, you see. Mm -hmm. Well, at any given time in the MGM, there were $6 million sitting on the tables <laughs> and the machines at any time. That's and amazing. Never, you know, unless until they emptied it and it got filled right back up again. But that was the average. Wow. Six million per day. And Six million it's, dollars. It's like you want to go out there and win, take a rabbit's foot with you, <laughs> and you read all the books you want. Yeah. But if it's not rolling in your favor, you're not going to win. And their percentage of winning, I don't know whether it's 99% to 1% that you are, that they're going to, but it's, it isn't like that tight, but it, it believe me. You have to know what you're doing. You yeah. Really do. and, and then if they, they, they'll know you know, you will not set foot in that hotel no, again. Your you card call. counter. Because there's the eye in the sky. That was part of our department was surveillance. Yeah. And that's those, they sit and they watch each of those tables and each of those players. And they know, they can identify the people that are sitting there. I remember yeah. seeing some on my 2020 where they had, or they talked about surveillance and 